हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम हिरीत शाह एंड आई गॉट ऑल इंडिया रिंग वन इन नीट ट्वेल्व सिक्सटीन एंड इट्स जस्ट एन एक्साइटिंग फीलिंग विच आई एम फीलिंग राइट नाउ सो जस्ट कैन ऑफ बी डिस्क्राइब बाई वर्ड्स सो आफ्टर टू ईयर्स ऑफ हार्ड वर्क इट वॉज अ ग्रेट अचीवमेंट फॉर मी एंड दिस रिजल्ट आई डिडेंट एक्सपेक्ट टू गेट ऑल इंडिया रिंक वन इन नीट बट ओइंग टू माई हार्ड वर्क एंड टू माई डेडिकेशन इन माई टू ईयर्स एंड ऑल्सो टू माई पेरेंट्स सपोर्ट आई एक्सपेक्टेड यू टू गेट अ गुड रैंक एंड गेट एडमिशन इन अ गुड कॉलेज so depending upon i will i would like to share my journey with you uh, about what were my uh, path which i took during my two years so first of all i would like to tell that uh, uh, i was at allen kota for two years for coaching of pre medical and uh, i used to go to the classes in the evening slot uh, i i used to study at allen and allen provided me such a great guidance about all the things that i was going to face in my exams so it was a really helpful thing and of course the environment at kota was conducive for encouraging my rank also i mean there are lot of studying people around me there are lot of toppers around me that i always get the feeling that i should study more so that is the great thing about kota that you will really appreciate and of course at allen uh, when i was at allen my faculty my teachers always used to inform me about the new changes in the exam patterns which are which are coming so i always used to prepare myself for the new changes in the exam so that is a great advantage of being at an institute which has 28 years of experience and experience of such a great mentors so that's a great thing that uh, you have at an uh, every person advantage at allen so of course uh, i got study during the morning hours and uh, on a daily basis i used to put 5 to 6 hours of studies of self studies at home and uh, i used to uh, make a note of all the topics which were to be covered uh, daily and uh, i also used to make a task manager and uh, and uh, used to note that whether this task are getting fulfilled or not so like on a daily basis i would like to make the topics which are to be covered and uh, then complete to complete them within that 5 to 6 hours so i used to give an weightage to those topics which were my weak topics but i for example some topics in physics which are uh, which i didn't solve questions too well so i used to focus more on them and uh, how to find your weak topics it was through the test so through the minor and major test you can easily find out your weak topics uh, the topics in which you are committing mistakes more and more more frequently so those are your weak topics so uh, another thing which i used to follow is uh, that i always used to make a note of all the mistakes which i had done in my test so whether they were silly mistakes or they were conceptual mistakes or any other concept which is a good concept and a tricky question i used to make them all in one note and so i used to revise that notes before before any exams uh, or any other test so it used to help me a lot and apart from them uh, some of the basic books which i used to refer were the only essential requirement for cracking this neat and aims so of course uh, the biology for biology i recommend the ncert is the only book to be followed because this year's aims question paper was entirely from ncert and uh, so the ncert book should be uh, read out and should be memorized actually from cover to cover every diagram every labeling every other line in the ncert should be done properly and it should be in your minds apart from that for chemistry for chemistry for organic chemistry the reactions the named reactions are very important so that requires some part of memorization so i would like that you should uh, do repeated revisions of that by writing or by understanding the mechanisms so that is the only thing why you can remember organic chemistry inorganic chemistry uh, seems to be a bit tough to students because Uh, it is a bit of more uh, informative and it requires a bit of rote learning so i for that i used to maintain a separate notebook for inorganic chemistry in which i used to write all the reactions and all the tricky points and i used to make mnemonics on the memory tricks so that i could remember the inorganic chem- inorganic concepts easily and uh, apart from that uh, in chemistry uh, the most important part is practicing more and more questions so if you can practice more and more questions in different papers and uh, different major tests and minor test papers from different phases so it would be a good thing to do and uh, as far as chemistry or organic chemistry is concerned then the ncert of class 12th holds very much importance in the uh, in aims and also in aipmt so the organic chemistry part should be done thoroughly from the ncert and uh, for physics most of students find physics a bit difficult because uh, physics is uh, seems to be mathematical conceptual and uh, also a bit tricky Uh, subject so but the, the most important thing to know in physics is that it is the easiest subject in which you can score marks so uh, the tricks which i would uh, recommend for physics uh, is that 
always try to solve more and more numericals the more numericals you solve in physics the more easier it gets for you so i would suggest that you try maximum numericals from as many sources as possible and always try to solve your doubts and concepts even if you are having a single doubt then you should immediately go and consult with your either your friends or your teachers so it would be a great help to you and uh, to talk about my journey for the two years of course there are so many tests in at rn that there are more than 100 tests in the two years so there will be ups and downs in the rankings at the test so how to cope up with that uh, ups and downs the fluctuating ranks in that so for that i would like to tell you one simple strategy that uh, see no one can talk throughout this all this test it is a very difficult task to do so you will get some point of the time that uh, you are getting a low rank or below expected marks so at that time you have to uh, you have to uh, encourage yourself that not to get depressed and not to lose your focus so if you can do that then it will be a very great help and always try to bounce back in the next test so prepare hard work harder for the next test and then you will achieve wonders and uh, of course the most important part in the exams actually at the real exam time is the time management part during the exams so during the exams you need to know uh, which subjects and which topics you need to allot how much time according to the difficulty level so for that uh, it's a it's a good thing that you one get one general re- overview of the paper so once you get the paper then you should try briefing through those pages and uh, finding out what are the questions and just uh, for 5 to 10 minutes so it will help you get to get a good idea from where to start so uh, during this test at allen you need to find out a strong part i mean if you are comfortable with biology then start with biology first so it seems easy do physics at the last it can be different for different people so try out and make up the strategy which will help in the last time of the final exam so that is one thing and the other thing is that during this two years the most important thing which many students face is how to overcome this distractions around us so the thing which is most important is that uh, there are a, a lot of distractions around us which means there are movies there is the social media there is facebook there is whatsapp so to avoid all this we need to have self confidence and also self control so if you are having a good self control and if you know that what your goal is what your focus is then i don't think that this distraction will uh, ever cause any uh, discomfort or any stoppage to your dreams so that should be kept in mind that there are a lot of distraction around us but always try to avoid them because these two years are what most important to you and also a career and uh, during these two years you always try to uh, maintain a contact with your parents uh, talk to them every day for 5 to 10 minutes because uh, talking with parents help us to relieve a lot so that is a good thing to do and uh, of course the one thing uh, no one can study for more than one hour at a stretch so uh, of course you need some hobbies also and uh, my hobbies were i used to read novels i used to listen to music and i also used to sleep in my spare time it was the best hobby that i had so of course uh, there is a different hobbies and hobbies should be maintained because they help a lot in energizing yourself and uh, studying more better the next time so always maintain a limit of what you do in your hobbies because it's not that if you if, if that's your hobby then you will do for one hour two hour three hours it is you should know your limits about what to do so that is the best thing and uh, of course the last thing that i would like to say and to recommend to all the aspirants of this exams is that that always try and always make your goal before your uh, two years always decide what you have got to do knowing your abilities knowing your resources and knowing your support you should uh, you should decide a goal much earlier so once you have decided a goal you have something that you can work on so once you have a goal you can make a path out of it and then once you walk on your path then you are definitely going to achieve that goal so that is the only thing that should be kept in mind and uh, avoid distractions focus and always also study hard but never lose the interest in life means there is life to live so you should not be only studying 24 hours a day marathon hours a day so that should not be the case study equally enjoy also and of course you should never get bored if you are if you are really interested in the studies so have interest in your topics and uh, remain determined to get to your goal and that's the only thing which will easily help you to achieve your goal thank you